Hi, welcome to At by Anna Marie. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a leaf with water droplets on it in watercolour paints. I have loved learning to paint water droplets lately. I always think they look so tricky. Do not worry if you aren't great at drawing. I have a free template of this design on my website www.artbyannamarie.com You can just head over there and download it before you start. Today I want to break down the technique for you. This is not necessarily for beginners, but I do think that if you follow these steps you can definitely start to get better at watercolor water droplets. Remember, watercolor painting is all about experimenting and practice. Starting with four different green washes, I put a medium green onto my drawing. Then I leave a leaf vein and add my lighter greens. You see that I'm choosing to paint around the white water droplet spots and that's because whenever you do watercolour painting you'll never get a white that is whiter than your paper. So while I can go back over some of the droplets at the end with some white gouache, it's best to try as much as possible to keep some of the pure white of the paper. Once the sections of the leaf have been coloured in, you can start the background. Do not start the background while your leaf is still wet. We want the leaf to be crisp. To make the background appear to be out of focus, we're going to use the wet on wet technique where we apply quite a lot of water and let the colours mix into themselves. Gather a paintbrush full of water and start by making random spots around the leaf. The aim is to fill the white background with water and some colour. Still using the green colour palette, make sure you mix in greys and purples so that these colours appear to be more shadowy. You, can, you want to allow the colours to mix into each other when they're on the paper, so you're trying to get more of a random mottled look. Once your background is dry, you'll go back onto your leaf and increase your layer colour. You do this by using more colour and less water. This layer is going to introduce some of the delicate veins that leaves have. Also, it'll make the leaf darker and this will make it pop out from the background. Now for the fun bit, the water droplets. Inside the droplets, are got, we are going to put a bright green. This is because the water in the droplets has magnified the colour around the leaf. Contrastingly, we're also going to add quite dark green as this colour bounces around the droplet too. If you want a full explanation and step-by-step real-time tutorial on how I create water droplets using watercolour, then head over to my Patreon page. I have lots of real-time lessons for beginners as well as more challenging lessons such as this one. The lessons on Art by Anna Marie over on my Patreon page are designed to take you through everything you need to know to enjoy painting. I'm also available to answer any questions. You can dip in and out of all of the real-time tutorials and improve your art skills at your own pace. So check out Art by Anna Marie over on Patreon.
And here you have the finished results. I'm a little bit addicted to doing images with water droplets on it at the moment. I completed a frog earlier and also have now completed this one. If you want to see what I'm working on, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Art by Anna Marie. This one, of course, is going to be available in my shop, which is www.artbyannamarie.com. Thanks for watching.